Hey guys, DPD here. As a lot of you guys probably know or don't know, Quanbo recently released three sticks, the Drone 2, the Titan, and the Obsidian 2. And for this video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Drone 2. If you guys are interested in watching my Quanbo Titan review or my Obsidian 2 review, go to the video description below and click the link. The Drone 2 looks more or less the same as the original drone, which I have back here. So a lot of you guys might know, but I'm mainly a Tekken player and for the drone, I have the Tekken World Tour Edition drone right here. So I've taken this with me in my travels several times. It is a very, very lightweight arcade stick. As you can see, it's more on the smaller side and that's what the drone is supposed to be. The drone is supposed to be an affordable, lightweight, smaller arcade stick in comparison to it's like bigger brother the obsidian or the pearl or the dragon or any of the other quanba sticks out there this is the smallest quanba stick in the market but now it has a successor with the drone 2 which i will talk about so yeah we're gonna compare the drone to the drone 2 see what new things and new features it has what are the major differences by the end of this video we're gonna see if you should upgrade to a drone 2 if you already have a drone 1 or if you don't have any arcade stick, should this be the one to get? But yeah, um, let's go ahead and look at the box here. Uh, as you can see in the front of the box, you have a nice laminated image of the Drone 2. It says it's for the PS5 and the PS4, but these Quanba sticks, you could, uh, you could also use these on PC as well. I mainly play on PC, so uh, I can tell you guys I've used every Quanba stick on PC. It works, although the packaging here does say it's for a PlayStation. It does work on PC, just letting you guys know. Yes, the model is an N3. I don't know what that stands for but that's what the model is on the back of the box it has all the details that you might want to know about the stick so i'm just going to go uh, go ahead and read this to you ps5 console and ps4 console compatible but we already discussed it it's also compatible with the pc eight quanba 30 millimeter buttons there's a create share button which is like exclusive for ps4 there's a quanba lever and it uses a square restrictor gate there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack turbo button anti-slip pad on the bottom of the arcade stick there's a touch pad for the ps5 or ps4 the wired usb cord length is 2.3 millimeters or 7.5 feet and it weighs about 1.25 kilograms but if you live here in freedom land you'll know that translates to 2.6 pounds so yeah let's go ahead and open this up there's a little flap here there's an instruction manual here but we don't need this so we'll go ahead and remove this this protects our arcade stick this protects the buttons and then we'll just toss this out all right so uh, it's protected in this nice plastic wrap we'll go ahead and toss that as well this is the Quanba drone too. So it looks like this is a little bit wider, maybe by a couple of like centimeters. They seem to be about the same height. I do feel like the drone too is actually lighter. But yeah, just by looking at it, the design philosophy is the same, right? They both use Quanba parts. Unlike the Obsidian and the Obsidian 2, which use Sanwa buttons and Sanwa levers, this uses Quanba buttons and Quanba levers. So I can already tell from the sound of the buttons and there's a lot more hollowness to it. And I do have my Obsidian 2 right here, which I've been using for Street Fighter 6. You can kind of hear the difference in the buttons, right? So the Obsidian 2 is a lot more clickier, so it just feels more solid. So we'll press some of the buttons. This is the Obsidian 2. Like I said, the Obsidian 2, the Swanwa buttons is a lot more clickier. It's uh, it's a lot more uh, solid. L l l uh, it feels a little more heavier. And I personally like that, right? The Drone 2 is, you know, it's, it's not too bad. But yeah, using Quanba parts for like the lever and the buttons is the, I, I, I believe is the big difference from like the Obsidian. And it's also a lot lighter. I think those are the two major differences, right? So all the buttons have Quanba stickers on them to protect them from getting scratched. Just remember, if you decide to remove these stickers, from the buttons, uh, be sure to be careful when you peel them off because they could leave a little residue from the adhesive that's on the buttons. I mean, that's not really a problem. You could just like take that out with some soap. So as you can see from the get-go, the stick looks really nice, okay? So unlike the Obsidian 2, which has like a reflective glass plating on it, the Drone 2 actually has a matte finish. So everything, you kind of see this little groove design here. There's, there's, there's like a little bit of grip. So I like this faceplate a lot better than Obsidian 2, mainly because when, you know, I sweat a lot. And so when I use something with like a glass or reflective faceplate, my fingerprints and all the grime and stuff that comes off of my hands are left on there. And I have to like clean it a lot. It makes me feel really dirty. It makes the stick look 
pretty gross. But this, like I could play on this for a long time and I won't leave any marks for my fingerprints or my palms. So that's pretty nice. And yeah, as you can see here, it's like a matte finish. There's no glossiness to it. There is a nice shimmer to it though, which is nice. It looks like kind of metallic almost. That's pretty cool. The ball top here and the buttons have a nice shiny glossy finish. So the buttons are very reflective. Let's look at the top here. So you can see the PS4, PS5 touchpad. Right here you have PS5, PS4, and PC settings here. So there's a little switch there uh, to change the mode. Over here you have the... Um, Default position, left side and uh, right side switches over here, which I never use. I honestly don't know what they do. Then you have some other buttons. You have turbo, L3, mute, and uh, R3. You have the PlayStation button here, and this is a share button. Okay, don't get confused, even though it's like a joystick print over here. Don't get this confused. On the top left of the arcade stick, there is the headphone jack right there, so you can plug in your headset. And then just like the original drone, it has a compartment right here for the USB cord. So it's pretty nice. Uh, the cord is almost, like I said earlier, the cord is about seven and a half feet long. It's pretty tall. So, you know, I don't know if you need anything longer. I know the obsidian is like almost like nine feet long. So uh, yeah, uh, this is a pretty long cord. And again, the compartment is right there. There's like a little hole right here. You can just like shove your cord in. And this is what I love about the drone, right? So unlike the obsidian two, the obsidian two has this like weird, like a compartment for the cord. You have to like, unscrew the side uh, compartment and then open a door. Then you have to take the cord out and if you want to like cover it, you gotta put the compartment back in, re-screw it. This, so much easier, right? It's just, it's just right there. You just gotta like, you know, you come into your station, you wanna play your next game, you just go wham, bam, you just take it out, boom, plug it in. Very easy, very simple. This is what I like, Kwanba. I like something super simple like this. If you want something super flush, there's other sticks, like the original Obsidian had a door over here. You just had to like flip it open. You could just take out the cord, plug it in, close the, the door up. No need to screw, no need to unscrew. Very, very easy access. Yeah, this is really cool. I like how you could just like, you have a compartment to hide the cord, very cool, and then you don't gotta deal with it anymore. See, it's that simple. So I do like that about the drone. So the drone also has this nice groove right here. It kinda curls downwards. Very nice and comfortable for your palms. So you can just do this, right? So you could play with the stick, and then your buttons, you know, your, your hands. It's very comfortable on the palms. There's like these really tiny grip grooves right here as well. There's a nice little Quanba logo on the front there. On the bottom of the stick, you see there's like some really small, tiny, like anti-slip pads right here. On the original drone, the pads were in an L shape. So it comes out right here. I mean, it's still pretty minimal, but the anti-slip pads are there. It just, for this one, it's, it's just kind of like the corners. So it doesn't really prevent it from slipping around on your lap, to be honest. But it would definitely help if you play this like on top of a table because all you really need are like the corners, right? And then if you want to do some like customization inside, you can just um, open the bottom here and it gives you access to the stick, right? If you have any problems, if you need to do any repairs with like the lever over here, you could actually have access right there. You just gotta like twist this little compartment open. But if you're one of those guys who are like some arcade joystick connoisseur and you know, you really wanna get in the nitty gritty and wanna change some hardware, like, you know what, maybe you wanna change the buttons to like Sanwa parts or the lever. Maybe you don't like the square restricted gear and you wanna change it to something else. Well, if you wanna do that, there's a couple of screws that you could undo right here, here, the four corners as well as the middle center. You unscrew that, you can actually open the top and you could customize some of the wiring, you could change some of the parts. So yeah, if you're one of those guys who really, really wanna get into the arcade stick and you wanna change some parts, you can do that. I believe Quanda posted up this image of the drone too with some of its parts and layers. So, you know, just so you're, you get familiar if you decide to really wanna change up some of the parts. And I'm sure along the lines, there might be some artist or some guy who might manufacture some plates. So maybe you don't, you know, maybe you don't like this like plain black plating, right? Maybe you don't like this. Maybe you want something shiny. Maybe you want some artwork printed on or laser printed on. You can do that too, right? So there you go. That's just about all of the things that I could talk about of the stick. But with that out of the way now, let's go ahead and test this baby out on some Tekken. Round one. All right guys, so we're gonna play a really quick game. Fight. I honestly haven't touched Tekken in a while. In a while. <laughs> Just waiting for uh, Tekken 8, to be honest. But it's okay. It's good to get my hands dirty a little bit. Let's go. All right. 
right, let's go. Not bad for somebody who's been uh, out of practice. Do this and then come up. There we go. Oh, let's go. Perfect. Hey, nice. Pretty easy. <laughs> All right, cool. Wow, look at look look how much I sweat. Can you can you see that? Can you see how much I sweat? All right, so really quick, I just want to say like how easy it is to like wipe this down. Unlike the obsidian, which is gonna leave streaks. Look at that, and no more no more wet marks. So all for all of you guys who have a sweat problem, you know it's, it's that easy to clean. This is one reason why I prefer the drone over the obsidian. All right, so as you can see, the arcade stick. Drone 2 by Quanba is a pretty efficient stick, right? It's lightweight. If you don't want something a little too colorful, you want something sleek, but you know, kind of have some type of like professional look, I guess the Drone 2 is a pretty good choice. And again, I like the surface area a lot more better than the Obsidian 2 because Obsidian 2 has a very like shiny cover, right? I, I really don't like seeing my fingerprints left on here. So I can like touch my hands all over it and you don't really see much, right? And so the real question is, is the Drone 2 worth the price? Okay, so on the website, it is currently at $124.99. So it'll run you $125 before shipping. It is not too expensive, but I mean, it's, it's more than $100 and to some, that's like, that's way too much, right? So if you're looking for a lightweight, smaller arcade stick that is kind of on the lower end price range, I would probably go for the original drone. This is still available online. It's actually still available on the Quanbo website for $79.99. That's about $50 less than this guy. To be honest, if you don't care about looks, if you don't care about aesthetics, this is basically the same stick. I mean, they both use Quanbo buttons. They both use Quanbo levers. I think the only difference is that this one has a touchpad. I think that's the main thing. The Drone 2 has a touchpad on the top right, while this does not. Besides looks wise, functionality wise, they're about the same. They both have the wire compartment right here on the bottom. They both use Quamba parts. They have just about the same feel, the same weight, more or less. But this one's a lot more shinier and like colorful and loud. And the other one has a nice matte finish. If you think that 50-ish dollars is worth it to get the drone, I would say, yeah, go for the drone too. But if you're on a budget, you know, go for the drone. The drone is fine. You know, the drone will do its job. And hey, if you're looking for something a little heftier, something a little bigger, something more durable, Go for the Obsidian too, you know, that's fairly expensive. It's about $300. So the Obsidian, like I said, we I did a review on the Obsidian. So if you want to go check that out, the link is in the description below. And if you got money, go for it, right? But I think that'll be it for my Drone 2 unboxing and review video. Hope you guys like the content. And if you did, drop a like. Also leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. If you have any questions, I'll just go ahead and answer it. And if you decide to subscribe to my channel, I will really appreciate it. I do a lot of unboxings. I am a fighting game player. I'm hoping to do a lot more fighting game content once like Street Fighter and Tekken come out soon. But I mainly do uh, vlogs at anime and gaming conventions as well as doing unboxings to a bunch of like waifu figurines. So if that's your thing, please consider subscribing. And I guess that'll be it. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Ready?